All right, today we have a Lockwood 215A, brand new in box. Oops, works best if you don't drop it. Uh, brand new, I've just opened it to have a look, but I haven't picked it or anything yet. So here we go, it's beautiful pink Lockwood with a round body. Oh, I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. Um, a stainless shackle, brass core. So, uh, you know what? These would make a great logo lock if they weren't so expensive. Um, and if I had a laser engraver. So, these are theoretically a lotto lock. Um, this one's got pretty good bidding actually, as well. So, two, three, four, five. Five pins, it does work nicely. Um, let us, here are some picks, see how we go. I might use the, um, start with the medium hook. Um, now I'll start with, let's start with the deforest. Oh, let's get that up there. Ooh, quite a lot of slop in it, so that tells me probably going to have the Lockwood spools um, and not, not standard pins, so this could put up a little bit of a fight. Means we just want to go in nice and gently. One, two feels set, three feels set. Counter off the back. Might actually switch to medium hook for that back one. There we go. Now we got it. Just wasn't feeling quite lined up on the pin, but very well uh, right at the back there. So that pointier hook really helped. So it wasn't too bad. Um, almost don't need to cut it now, having uh, felt what that felt like. I could pretty much guarantee what it's going to have in there, but got to cut it. Oh, it's going to be a stiff one. Probably got a bit of Loctite in there. Hopefully I don't have to go and get a bigger screwdriver out. Let's um, get the bit assist there. Red Loctite. That's why that was so stiff. Um, ball bearing as well, so not shimmable. It's the inside. Beautiful body on these. Um, then we've got this standard sort of rockwood housing here. A couple of screws on the back. You can take this pin out and make it um, key retaining. Let's lock that up. These are in tight too. 
also probably got some Loctite on them. They do. Blue Loctite. This would be much easier to gut and reassemble after this uh, after this time. Now that those are broken, turn so that off. Um, stick our key in. 45. Get a shim. Don't really need a shim head, probably. But you know what? Shims are really cheap. You can use them more than once, and it's just it's never a bad idea to shim. So. Stops stupid mistakes. In fact, see, there's a good reason to shim. That was unexpected. Look at all these construction holes. I was... That's actually not a very well-made core from Lockwood there. It's got a lot of scratches and dings. This is not the sort of quality worksmanship I expected. It is well oiled. Um, holes for drill protection at the front. Which are not populated, but a pin could possibly fall into those. Hole for a six pin, not populated. Um, here you can see the pins in there. You can actually see the tolerances on the stack to the pins there. Um, interestingly, not sure what kind of pins those are for. Um, oh, are these for the... It's got little channels down the side of these pinways anyway, which I think are for a different kind of pin. Um, so there we go. we've got a little bit of a... See that? A little bit of bevel on top of those key pins. Just dump those out. One, two, three, four, and five. Right. Oh. Yeah, this is not the tweezers I wanted. I'll do. So I bought more tweezers, and as a result, now I never pick up the right ones. Um, where am I? Sparrows ones. I quite like the Sparrows ones. All right. Thin lip spool. Thin lip spool. I mean, come on, it's going to be thin lip spool. Thin lip spool. And thin lip spool. One, two, three, four, five. Five and one, two, three, four, five springs. Come on. All right, let's get a close up of those just in case you've never seen a Lockwood thin lip spool before. This is what they look like. They're um, actually generally a bit harder than it would look like they would be looking at those. Very light tension is generally speaking the best technique for those. Um, just out of interest, I want to see. Let's see, so pin one and two. So even those are really low cuts on that key, that's like the lowest cut. You can see that there's still enough room in that for the spool to spool action, even on the lowest cut keys. So if this was like a, a sparrow spool with a really f fat bottom, that would just act like a standard pin. But because of these Lockwood ones, you get the spool on every single position, uh, which is nice. So there we go. That is the an out-of-the-packet pick of a Lockwood 215A.